What's up guys, Rock here, and welcome back to some more GreenCraft. Today, I have updated the mod pack. As you can see, Minecraft Comes Alive has been added to 112. So, obviously I went ahead and added it, because Minecraft Comes Alive is awesome. So yeah, also, on the note of Minecraft Comes Alive, I want you guys to tell me what you think I should do in terms of if I should make a village in front of my house using Minecraft Comes Alive. Just let me know down in the comments below anyway. Right now we're on the hunt for cows because between the next between the episodes what I've done is I've gone ahead and made an enchanting table and I need some books to actually finish that up. So, we need leather. The problem being um cows seem to be a bit scarce right now. So, we might not get as much as I'd hope, but I only need a couple more bookshelves. So, I shouldn't need to Oh my god, um what? No. Die. I don't like baby skeletons. You know, babies are fine and all, just not baby skeletons because they shoot you with arrows. You're like Cupid, but worse because you actually try to kill me. God dang. Okay. It does not look like there's going to be any more cows coming tonight because, well, it's nighttime now. But... One good thing about it being nighttime is the fact that I need some ender pearls. But then again, I also need food right now, which I didn't even notice. Um, oh, go, 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 die, die. Yes, okay, I have six. That means I can make two more books, and that doesn't help me because that doesn't make anything. <laughs> I guess for now, I'm gonna go ahead, head back to my house, and I'll just go ahead and show you the progress I've made. I will meet you there, assuming I don't die on the way. <laughs> All right, so we are back at the house. As you can see, we now have a forest here because a while back, like 10 minutes ago or something, I went ahead and planted a lot of trees because I needed wood. Also, a creeper blew up my house in the process. That was fun. Plus, a bunch of sugar cane doing that. Anyway. So yeah, here's what the house looks like right now. As you can see, I covered up the mine for now. Eventually I'm gonna have a lower floor and I'll have the actual entrance to the mine down there. But for now it's just covered up. I'm gonna put the ender portal right there. And here's where the enchantment table is gonna be. Now the problem is the fact that I don't have enough, well, books in order to make a full 30 level enchantment table. I don't remember how many you need, but I have 13 books here, and it says I can only do level 26. What's unusing? I still don't know what that is. Anyway, so yeah, we need to make a few more, but I should have enough. Oh, wait. Come on. There we go. I can make two books. So, although it's not great, it's still some. Oh, wait, I have some more books in here. I could make one more. Oh my god. Is one more going to be enough? It's barely short. Okay, I need like, what is that, one or two more in order to make a full thing. Okay, we'll worry about that later, but for now I only want to do this in order to get uh, all my levels gone. I just don't want levels right now because we're about to go to the nether, boys. And girls. Don't don't forget the girls. Anyway, we're about to go to another. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna place down our pump and everything, which I have right here. Um, one thing I learned was I actually had to make some mechanism universal cables in order to do power, which was kind of a pain. I had to get steel, which is just a tedious process. But anyway, let's enchant this sword. I normally don't do anything other than exactly level 30, and I don't know what I'm using is, but... Let's do it. Put the fields in. Ugh. Sweeping edge three and unusing. Well, that's completely useless. Okay, well, oh well. I. Oh, wait. I forgot. Minecraft now only uses three levels instead of the full 30. I forgot about that. Ooh, hoo hoo. What's light, light piercing for? I don't even know what these things are. So yeah, we're gonna have to find a way to store our levels eventually. But for now, I guess we'll have to live. I don't really know what else I can do. 
I guess let's take this light piercing four on this book. I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out later. Um, increases damage against shadow mobs. Oh, well that's pretty cool. Except I don't know of any shadow mobs, nor do I know where to find them. So that's pretty useless. Anyway, let's put all of our stuff away and then we're gonna go to the other. All right, so real quick side note, right before we go to another, right now I'm just uh, cooking up some uh, more of these sharpening kits for my tools. But anyway, what we need to do once we get to the nether is we have to find another fortress before we can place down all of our pumps and stuff. The reason for this is, is because I need to get an ender tank. To get an ender tank, I need blaze rods, which is gonna be a problem because you kinda have to go to the nether to get blaze rods. So anyway, that's gonna be our first goal once we get there. I really wish the subsidian would smelt faster. I do have enough lava in here, right? Yeah, I do, okay. So yeah, that's gonna be our first thing. So let me go ahead and grab a piece of wool real fast. And now we're pretty much ready to go once all this stuff hurries up and makes my sharpening kits. All right, guys, so I finally got my sharpening kits all done and ready to go. I made this little entranceway, and now it's time to place down the blocks to my portal. In this version of Minecraft, or it might be a mod, I'm not sure, you can make custom portal sizes. I did test this out first, so let's give it a shot. Hey, that's a fine looking portal right there. I'm gonna keep this flint and steel on me, just in case I get trapped in the nether. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna need to fix this floor when I get back. It's gonna kill me. Okay, go to the nether. Let's hope we don't die the second we get there. Oh my god. I'm actually really worried about dying right now. Okay, we need to go deeper. Okay, where are we? We're on top of flesh. That's a great sign. Um, okay, we look like we're safe. We actually look like we're kind of safe right here. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And is that cobalt I see? Huh, huh, huh? <gasps> it is. Awesome. One of my goals when I came here was to find cobalt because that's going to be the next step of weapons that we need next to manolium or manulin or however you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's manulin. Anyway, so let's grab all this cobalt because we need this. I believe to make manulin, let's look it up. Manulin, uh, you need to mix cobalt and aridite. I don't remember. Molten manulin. Uh, how do you make it? Do you not make it? Do you just find it? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Here it is. Yeah, you mix cobalt and aridite, and that's how you get manulin. Okay, so we need to find some aridite as well. But luckily, if we have to, like, fly or anything, I do have a bat morph we can use. Oh! Aridite. Oh, that was easy. Awesome. So now when we get back, we can probably make an art, I mean a manual and pickaxe, or maybe even a sword. Also, make sure there's no other pigmen around. Um, I need to kill a pigmen for his morph right now. This is gonna suck. Die, die, die. No, I need this guy's morph, I'm sorry. Hopefully, wearing him will make me wo fireproof. Okay. Now, let's find him through this list. Okay. Morph. Now, hopefully, I'm fireproof. I don't know how I'm going to test this. Oh, God. Actually, I do know how. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. That is wonderful. I am so happy that I'm fireproof. Okay. Now, I don't have to worry about me dying in lava and losing all my stuff like that good okay now how do we get to another another fortress this is the main problem for now let's go down into the lava and we're gonna have to place it down our pump i don't want to just jump i feel like that's going to be a very bad idea okay let's make a staircase down to the lava over here somewhere Oh my god, what's a burning blossom? That thing burns, I mean, especially when you hit it, apparently. Uses, makes orange dye and nether terrarium. That seems pretty useless to me, but okay. Okay, now we need to figure out how we're getting down there. I think I just found out how, though. Looks like over here kind of gradually goes down a bit. <gasps> Thank god for this morph. 
Oh my god, please don't tell me this guy's mad. Okay, he's not mad. We're good! We made it! We're alive! We're gonna have to work our way back up, but we're alive right now, and that's all that matters to me. Okay. Now that we're here, and Jesus Christ, I thought I was gonna die. Let's go ahead and start placing down our pump stuff, because that's why we came. Okay, so let's grab our pump. The pump needs to apparently go in the lava, but it needs to go at a certain angle. So like, it needs to go like that. Okay. Now if I place my tank behind it, I wonder if the tank can actually fill up on its own. I don't know if that's what it does or not. We should figure that out eventually. Anyway, now we have that. So now if we take our basic universal cable and stick our magmatic dynamo into it, it should start to power. Are you working? Okay, it's working, it's working. I saw it fill up with some lava. Let's break that so we can see it a bit better and also let's put something down there because I really don't want that there. Oh wait, no it's not filling? Okay. Well, that's odd, but I think I can fix that pretty easily. Okay, so let's take our transfer pipes, run it there into both of these, and then put one of those there. Now, hopefully... Oh, wait, you're not running. Oh. That's my problem. First off, I need to start that. And then, it should gradually start filling up with more lava over time. Holy cow, that's efficient. Oh my god. Look at that, it's just making a tunnel outward of lava. Okay, are you filling up? Oh yeah, you're filling up. And looks like our tank here is filling up. We're all good. We are all good. That's gonna look like it's actually um, not filling that well, but it's filling perfectly fine, I promise. Since this thing has 144 buckets worth of lava capacity, it's gonna really not look like there's much in it. Anyway, so that's all full now, which means this is gonna go forever, pretty much. One thing I just forgot until right now is we need a chunk loader, though. A chunk load is pretty easy. We're gonna need to make this when we get back because I completely forgot about that. But yeah, that should be good for now. I'm gonna quickly run back over to the overworld and make ourselves a chunk loader. That way I just have it done and then I'll meet you back here. I truly do not advise what I'm doing right now. I'm going into a bat morph with three HP in order to go back to the overworld without making a staircase. Don't do that. All right, guys, so we are now back in the nether. Don't worry, I'm not cheating. I'm in bad morph. Anyway, I made myself a chunk loader, so now we should be able to do this. Actually, I should really check the chunks here, make sure we're in one chunk. Awesome, just barely nailing that. All right, so now we should be all good here. We only need one chunk. We can go ahead and show lasers, I guess. Make it a square. Okay, yep, looks like we're in the right chunk there. Awesome. So now we have this all done. This is going to forever fill up with lava until, well, we run out of lava pretty much. Let's actually make that a two chunk radius. That way we can just get a few extra lava into there. Otherwise, it'll just like dig out this singular chunk and that won't be very good. All right, so we're really pretty much good in terms of lava now. Is that... A fort? No, it's just a thing. Okay, so now our goal is we have to find another fortress. This is gonna be a pain because the only way I can fly is with a bat. And bat has three HP. So, this is gonna be deadly. I should probably turn that off. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's hope we do not brutally get murdered while I'm looking for this. I'm not gonna search in too far of a radius, but yeah. Whoa, you look cool. All right, so I've been exploring for quite a while now and still have yet to find any sort of nether fortress or even blaze type thing. But one thing I did just find was an enderman. 
Now, normally I wouldn't get too excited, but the fact that we need ender pearls to make our ender tank, this is a very good thing. Now, I don't know why there's an enderman in the nether, to be honest, but hey, I'm not really going to question it. Okay, uh, don't see any other creatures around that should be able to kill me. Let's do this. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, I was kind of worried about that. Wait, I can morph into an enderman holding a block? That's kind of funny. I did not know this morph mod actually, like, had a difference between those. But anyway, I have two pearls now. That's exactly how much I needed in order to finish... I did not need that. Anyway, that's exactly how much I needed in order to uh, make our two ender tanks. So now if I hurry back home, we can go ahead and do that. But first, I want to explore just a little bit longer looking for another fortress before I call it quits. Okay guys, quick update. I got a ghast morph and I changed some controls around and now when I push V, I can shoot a fireball. Oh my god, I am so excited to sit here using this fireball. I mean... Oh my god. <laughs> the one downside to the ghast, I only have five hearts. But Jesus Christ, I am so happy. Oh my god, you have no idea how excited I am I sit here using fireballs on things. Anyway, I've been searching for quite a while, still have not found any sort of nether fortress yet. So, I think I'm gonna have to start heading back, assuming I'm not completely lost. And never mind, I found another fortress! Oh my god. Exactly as I said, the second I stop looking, I'm gonna find one. Oh my god. Okay, oh, and there's a blaze spotter. Yes! Come to me, my blaze. Come to me. Jesus Christ, you're fast. Oh my god. Die. Okay. Blaze rod! Hey, hey, I don't care about projectile protection boots. Okay. Ooh, morph. I'm not gonna turn. Wait, actually. Let's morph into the. <gasps> he has full health. Except. Particles are gonna be an absolute pain. All right, so I have bad news. I've just ran out of food, and I still haven't got all eight blaze rods I need. I have seven now, so this is gonna be our last chance. Okay, I have a few baked potatoes, but that's it. So it's gonna have to be a tight run, pretty much. These last three blaze, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh my God, so many blaze spawning now. Oh my god, so many blaze. Why am I getting so many blaze rods now? Why now? Out of all the times, why when I have to leave? Okay, at least I got them all. That's a very, very good thing. Okay, now we have all the blaze rods we need. Let's go ahead and explore a bit. Because I want to find a couple nether chests. Because you never know what's going to be in these things. It could be something really amazing. It could also be a dead end or... Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay, any chests? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. there's chests. Do you have anything good? You have tin and flint and steel. <laughs> this is all worthless, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if iridium is actually any help, so I'm not gonna grab that. Let's go ahead and grab some nether warp. And, dang, I forgot my shovel. Ooh, there's another chest. What do you got? Okay. So, by the looks of all these chests that I'm finding, the nether is not very good in terms of chest. So, I'm probably going to start heading back now. I'm going to try finding maybe one more chest just to give it another shot to see if I can get anything special from it. Also, let's go ahead and grab some more nether wart. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to vein mine that or not, but I can. Anyway. Okay. Let's find one more chest. Just one because I'm a chest addict. Is that a chest? That's a chest. That's a chest, boys. And it's worthless. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so we have made it back to our stuff. And look at this, our dark tank is 100% full. Now that is good news for me because right now I'm heading back over to the overworld and we're gonna go ahead and make both of our ender tanks right now because I have the materials to do it, so I might as well. But the problem is 
I've been recording for 50 minutes. I know it's not gonna be that long for you, but this file is getting big. So I'm gonna have to stop pretty soon. So let's grab everything we need. Actually, I think I have everything I need, don't I? Uh, no, I need a cauldron. Okay, let's throw a couple things in here real fast. Um, there we go, that made enough room. Okay, let's grab uh, some iron. Stick it in here. I'm gonna need two cauldrons. And now I should be able to make two of these puppies. And I need one more wool. Wow. Who knew wool would be the limiting factor in that? Okay. And boom. We now have two ender tanks. So I'm going to go ahead and set that one there for now. We'll move it here in a bit. Now go back into the nether. And now we're going to have everything we need for this. I'm just gonna leave these on white, 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 um, because there's no one else on the server, because this isn't a server, so we should be fine in that aspect. Okay, let's get our transfer pipe, and connect those two, put that there. Okay, now we have lava transferring. I don't know quite how much is gonna be in there, I need to get a thing for it to tell me. But that should transfer pretty fast. So, alright. Now we've done that. That should be pretty much it for this episode, guys. So, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. And leave a comment down below telling me what you think I should make next in this mod pack. In the next episode, I'm going to be working on making a whole bunch of tools and stuff. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here real fast. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.